Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs from SCPM, Strategic Cost and Performance Management. We did all the questions from the module. It was time for us to be doing everything from the Board of Studies portal. The chapter that we all have selected today is chapter number 5. It teaches you how the new companies are shaping up this entire world. How the business models have changed completely. Earlier for watching a movie, I had to be buying a CD around 30 years ago. You all have not seen that era only. Okay, it is very difficult that you will have seen that era. Before that, we used to be having the video cassettes. Now, what do you do? You try to go on some OTT platform and watch the movie that you want. Okay, how have the things changed? Business models have completely changed. Everything has changed. Because obviously, change is the only constant. So, therefore, things have to be there. And you, as a person who is going to be part of the chartered accountant's uh, fraternity, you should always be ready for this change. A person who does not change ultimately goes away. So, once you become a CA also, do remember, education and learning does not stop. Two things before I'll start it off with today's video. You want to be enrolling for my complete course, link is there in the description, whereby everything of the modules is uh, covered up and every update comes over there. Second, you can join our Telegram channel and the group, okay, for the frequent updates on this subject that we all have. With that, I shall continue with our question for today. Chapter number five. What are the features of traditional business models? Okay. Uh, speed of implementation is rapid and often based on good enough data. Okay. Uh, development of new product happens through product management. Okay. Organization structure is defined, customer driven and agile teams. Okay. Uh, management reporting is primarily based on accounting and financial information. Failure is considered as an exception. Okay. Now, uh, let's uh, not see the options, I think. Let's see one small thing. How are traditional business models different from the startups that are there? Okay. So, I thought I'll get some extract out from the module and try to show it to you. So, first, traditional businesses are what? Example, when Reliance launched its Geo plan. It planned it for so many years, okay. When Geo Telecom came, it planned it for so many years. They did not have a chance of failure also, okay. They tried to be thinking if failure happens, that might be like, you know, an exception as such. But they prepare themselves. They have a traditional setup. A traditional setup means like, you know, there is a sales manager who will always remain a sales manager. There is a product manager who will always remain a product manager. He will not interfere and say there is a departmentalization to the core. These uh, companies have money to make departments. Okay. And they work in a traditional way. Traditional way does not mean whatever we had around 40 to 50 years ago. No. But there will be a performance evaluation of every manager. Okay. Variances will be computed. Budgets will be made. All those things. Okay. That is how traditional companies work. But lean startups. Lean means those startups who avoid wastages of any form. It could be wastages of uh, money, wastages of their time, all those things. So, lean word always means like, you know, suppose you ever try to be thinking, say, Virat Kohli has a lean body. Lean body means like, you know, there are no unnecessary fats in the body, right? Okay. So, lean startups. Startups obviously have lesser amount of money. They have a business model in mind. They all try, they all test. If it does not work, they go to some other model. Okay. So therefore, like, you know, their products, their businesses keep on getting changed on the way how the customers are reacting. Okay. So let's start to be studying this thing. Traditional, the strategy, business plan and implementation driven. There is a certain amount of business plan. Okay. And they work accordingly, uh, according to that only. Might be it has given them success in the past. But for the lean startups, it's business model hypothesis driven. They try to be thinking, this should work. These guys think this will work. Okay, the traditional companies. The lean startups start to be thinking, this should be working. If it does not work, we'll try something else. Okay, second, new product process. It is product management. They develop the product and they ultimately make it commercially viable, no matter whatever happens. Over there, it is the customer development. Like you all try to be thinking, I might have given this example in past also. Bajaj Chetak EV, when it was launched, in beginning, it was not even a successful uh, scooter also. Ola was way ahead as compared to Bajaj, although Bajaj had launched Chetak far before uh, Ola also. 
but then they believe that ultimately like you know their product will be far superior they work on product they work on product their servicing is very strong and ultimately uh, bajaj has started to do good in ev2 wheelers also but for lean startup most important part of their business is trying to develop the customer okay like traditional companies think have a great product okay customers will automatically buy these guys try to be thinking no we have to be convincing the customer to be buying our product okay third engineering either of agile or waterfall development can be used in simple words in this case they will keep on improvising their products okay so therefore like you know they all don't try to experiment much with their products okay they engineer the products and based upon the responses they keep on becoming better 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 but over there it is agile agile means bit delicate <coughs> they will obviously they will always have this particular thing that build a product if it works okay else we'll change it if it works then we will start to be thinking what more uh, features to offer up and so on okay like you know there was a phone called as nothing phone i i don't know you all have uh, heard or not that is kind of an agile development they like you know took a survey of all the customers who were uh, using different types of phones and they try to be finding out what the customers want and they all did good also okay further organization is department by function people are hired for their experience and ability to execute okay example in microsoft there is a tech guy okay he will only take care of tech you cannot try to ask him what was the sales it is not his job boss okay and that is why these guys in and do very good because they have one specialized person okay who is going to be doing that single job only so therefore that specialization is always there but over there it is customer and agile development teams we keep on making the teams whereby a person might have more than one role also okay and everything is customer driven okay we have to try to get hold of the customers reporting accounting financial reporting using income statement the balance sheet and cash flow statement most of the uh, traditional companies they still rely upon all these particular things but over there they try to rely upon metrics that matters the customer acquisition lifetime customer value you have done these particular things in chapter number 2 and chapter number 3 also so therefore these guys try to have different measures of performance evaluation okay to be very honest even the traditional companies now have started to shift okay example i will tell you facebook had all its servers okay like uh, in singapore around in i guess june 2024 it was decided that all this data okay of facebook instagram and whatsapp more than 100 crore accounts only in india okay of all of them combined okay that is almost like like more than half of the bloody uh, population of a country so more than 100 crores amount of data will be shifted to india and who will control it it will be there in the data centers of reliance think how much mukesh ammani can be using this entire data how much information he will be having he will be able to target all his products okay to each and every person like you know that he wants so therefore say that he might come up with uh, the jio telecom ipo in 2025 so at that time he will be able to target especially the customers who are not using jio okay how much data mukesh amani will be having and how much great use he can try to put it like you know to uh, push his business to all the nooks and hooks of the entire country so reporting like you know this point is okay it's written up in the module okay that the lean startups only have these particular thing but these days even the traditional people are shifting to new methods of performance evaluation like you know lifetime customer value is not only used by the new company it's also used by companies like apple who try to be finding out what is the lifetime customer value example my wife is a apple user from lot of time okay how much money my wife has given to apple till now okay from iphone 4 till now how much money she has given to apple as such so all those things do matter as such okay so last point i don't 100% agree but then it's there in the module so therefore i am saying but yes one point i am okay that companies like reliance a traditional company 
for them financial reporting is very important the income statement is very important the balance sheet is very important okay so it is not that those things are not important and they will rely upon those things because they have the investors to be taking care but they are also trying to be using these new form of metrics although for internal evaluation like you know for trying to find out they are doing good or bad so now i'll come over to the question what are the features of traditional business models? Okay, speed of implementation is rapid and often based on good enough data. No, in case of traditional business models, they take time to develop the products. It doesn't happen in a over, they are not in a hurry. They want the best things to be coming out in the market. Okay, so therefore their uh, product development, okay, all these things are not super fast because if you do then super fast, you have a chance of error. These guys can't take a chance of error. So first one is not true. Second, development of new product happens through product management. Yes, this thing is altogether true. You can try to be seeing the second row. New product process, it is product management. Over there, the main focus is customer development. Okay, so obviously the traditional companies for them, product is very important because they are established. They know that if we will launch a world class product, people will buy only. Okay, second, third one, organization structure is defined, customer driven and agile teams. No. Uh, it is not customer driven as such to be very, uh, very honest. It is function driven. Okay. The organization structure will always be like, you know, in this case, say that you have a sales team, you have a sales department, you have a production department, you have a purchase department, you have a labor department. So therefore it is not customer driven. It is function driven. Okay. So third one is also false till now only point number two is correct. Fourth one management reporting is primarily based upon accounting and financial information true to great extent All, uh, although internally the new things can also be used although not printed in this chart but then these days most of the companies they all have uh, evolved they try to be using all such kind of things also but for reporting mainly they try to be using the accounting and financial data so that line is correct failure is considered as an exception perfectly correct these guys always try to be thinking that we cannot be failing that's it okay agile companies the lean startups think we can be failing if we fail we'll try something else and okay but these guys they all invest so much amount of time people money and everything so therefore they don't consider the failure as an option only okay so even if in beginning product is not successful they will keep on pushing that product again and again through different means okay they will try to make the products better and ultimately they all think one day the product will succeed here yeah. so one is correct i guess four is correct five is correct so let me look at the options now so what are the features of traditional business uh, models which were correct beta two four and five so let me just see which is the correct one two four and five that is there in point number four so point number four should be the correct answer i think yeah that is a correct one so correct answer is 2, 4 and 5. Speed of implementation is measured and operate on complete data. Organization structure is driven based upon the functions performed in an organization. Okay. That's it from my side. Please ensure that these videos of SCPM reach the target audience by sharing it in the groups that you all are part of. I'll, that gives me a motivation to try to bring out more number of videos for the help of the students. And uh, this is the playlist. If you will scan this, there will be a link that will be coming. So you can share that link among, their, uh, among your friends and automatically every possible kind of the MCQ that I have made uh, till now will be appearing as part of this only. Okay. And any new videos will also be coming. Till the time, I see you all next time. Stay fit, stay healthy, smile, Jay.